Before you saw me with eternal eyes, why was it in sin? Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climbed up on that hill. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. <laughs> My name is Oloma Owolo. I live in at number four, Obudu. My one. My, good, my testimony goes like this. Over three weeks, my husband private, uh, private, not a stand again. <laughs> hey, coo, 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 coo. The machine gun is not conking. Uh -huh. So. Uh -huh. Wait now, while I wait. Uh -huh. So reaching this, uh, you know, me and my husband cannot stand again. I you know, sleep as a husband and wife. So reaching this on Friday. So after blessing coconut, I reach a house. I carry one coconut, give to my husband a drink, chew him. For a night, every year. <laughs> hey, If I, uh -huh. I want to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. It was all one night. It started one night. I was in my house. First of all, I fetched my water. Around 8 o'clock, I sit outside. I now heard something choke in my side tummy. Just like that, though. <laughs> they all fire out of pew, by the side of our tummy. Uh -huh. Immediately, I heard that and I started feeling pains in my tummy. And I run inside the house. I tell my husband that I am feeling pains in my tummy. Throughout that night, I did not sleep. I did not turn my body. I only use one side to lie down. Till daybreak, they take me to one church. The church said that, the man said that, that uh, it is an arrow. That they fired arrow to inside my body. He gave me some drugs and the thing started to be worse. So they take me home. I cannot turn my body. It was too much. They, I, we decided to go to a scan. When we go to a scan, they said it's uh, Ethiopic. Ethiop it Ethiopic. Ethiopic. Uh -huh. They said it's Ethiopic. I said I have not heard this before. The, the doctor told me that, sister, this one is not that let me go and pray or let me go and fast. That God cannot do this. I was very, very happy. Doctor said, God cannot do this. This is not to go and pray fast. Tell me, who is the highest doctor in the world? So that doctor is a kindergarten doctor. Eh? He said, God cannot do this. I was sharing tears. I said, God, which kind of problem that you cannot solve? Which type of problem that I get inside that you cannot, that is bigger than you? I have not seen that. <laughs> Then we went to doctor. The other doctor referred us to go to another test, which is with me here. We went, we went to another test, and the doctor said that he, he rejected the first he rejected the first scan, being this one. He, re uh -huh. he rejected it. Being that one, the man said that God cannot heal this one, that I should come and they do uh, he said the equation that we should bring 100,000. He wants to help me. I said, okay. He, uh, then we we'll go to the doctor. The this doc is the first one. Web scan diagnostics. The second place is images. Look at the address. Then the doctor, the, this one, they say it's two sacs in my tummy. That they did not know the, the other sack, this sack, them that is here. That is different, different sack, but they did not know it. 
that they, know, they did not know what to call it. So throughout that day, even as I'm in that hospital doing this uh, scan, I was bleeding also. So after that... Erythrovited, slighted, buckling uterus. <laughs> hey! Grandma Nigerian! So we now take this one to the doctor. The doctor said now, he's now said that we should bring 250,000 for operation. And we should deposit uh, four pints of blood. That I should call my husband to deposit blood or he should go and buy blood. Then my husband doesn't even have 500 in the account. Talk less of to deposit 150,000 or buy four pints of blood. I called my husband, I said, take me to OPM. If I go to OPM, if this, my body remains the same, I will, go to the, I will go to the operation, even though it means to serve them. Let me remain there and serve them. But if I go to OPM, my sickness is healed, then we will know that God can do this. My husband said, are you sure? I said, yes, take me to OPM. He take me to OPM. And as we are coming to OPM, there is no blood in my body. This nurse is a witness. He checked my blood. He said it's only 5%. I cannot walk with my leg. I cannot walk with my leg. Uh -huh. I cannot walk with my leg. Then, after when I come here on Tuesday, that uh, healing day, then when I went to the house, our house, uh, our that is neighbors run come out. They start looking at me, laughing. Say, maybe I said this one. They are looking at me. Maybe they think that I'm dead. So after that, I came to Opium. Opium said, they on Sunday I came. He said, if you have gone to test, they say your baby carry nash, carry leg, carry one hand. Come out. I say God. I'm going this with faith. I come out. Daddy lay hands and pray for me and give me assignment with pains. I say, how can I do this uh, fasting with these pains that I'm having in my stomach? But I am very, very surprised. I finished that messy prayer. I did not receive any pain and I did not feel anything. So after when I finish it, I start to sing. Sing, finish, enter midnight. After the midnight, I breaking the flowing day, I saw myself. It's as if I'm in the dream. They operate me. When I wake up in the morning, I saw the thing rush out by itself. In the dream, I see where operation was taking place. When I wake up, the whole thing rush out. Uh -huh. That is how I got my healing. I did not pay one naira. Look at the second test now. See this one. Huh? It says no evidence of intra or extra gestation. No retention, product of conception. Um, no, fib no fibroid U U T E R O I N E. Whatever. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. The person speaking is Evangelist Chiwe Ezine Ekeke. I came here with fleet of afflictions and poverty. I can time will fail me to narrate how it looks like. But most at times I've been here some time ago to declare the goodness of God and how I get restored. But today I am here to testify to the shame of the devil, the goodness of God upon my family. The more the devil gets angry about how God is restoring my family, the higher God continues to restore I and my household. I cannot continue to say more because of time, but I am here to thank God for the new care that my husband bought for me. Clap for Dr. Jesus. <laughs> it's so glorious that I came here with even when I'm coming to church, I borrow transport. 
Hey, when, I was, when I came here, I normally borrow transport to come. But now, because of afflictions, all my children stop school. Oh. But today, the four kids are invited. Two are outside Nigeria. Why two are in Nigeria? Uh -huh. I don't know how to worship God and to now, thank him. Now, how many cars, 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 have you dedicated in these places? This is the seat car. Give Jesus a cup of it. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Christina from River State. I came to OPM with my family. Why I came to OPM is because of my husband. He was afflicted. And here in OPM, God healed him of that affliction. Clap for Dr. Jesus. After his mercy prayer. Then after two weeks, I said, let me follow him and see that God that did this miracle for me for not allowing me to be a widow. That is how I came to OPM. I was having ulcer for five good years. Here in OPM, God healed me of that ulcer, which I have testified. Here also in OPM, God healed me of every month's sickness I came with. He healed me of that. Here also in OPM, there was a day that they said that that is, university gate has locked up against some people. My family was among the family. So after that prayer, that very year, doors of university was opened unto my family. My second son, before we came to OPM, he stopped for admission almost for five good years. Mm. There was no way. But after that prayer of that very year, the boy got admission into university. Clap for that, Jesus. Not only him, two of my children, which one have graduated. I say, let God be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. And another thing that brought me here today is this I am holding now is key of house that my son-in-law built for me and my family. Clap for that, Jesus. My son did not build it. Mm -hmm. So my eyes was in, an, in, a, in our company. But lo and behold, it, took, it, it couldn't come that way. So our, where, we have, where we are living now, four bedroom flats, two families. So the landlord happened to sell the yard this year. So every time when I heard about it, I, was, I would go to the sticker on the door and say, Dr. Jesus, I'm not moving from this place to another person's compound, though. I can never move from this place to another person's compound. And house fellowship is in our house. Since in John OPM, we brought house fellowship into our house. For that reason, I said, I cannot move from this place and go to another person's house. So Dr. Jesus has confirmed it by using my son-in-law to build three bedroom flats for me and my family. Clap for the Dr. Jesus. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Nina. Before I look at OPM, after my marriage, I lost my job. Anyway. So, and I say, ah, what happened? I'm trying to move forward. Why am I going backward? So before then, I, before I got married, I saw my daddy in the dream that he came with the interest to see a land that they already clear. So I said, when I wake up, I don't know him before, but I only hear his name. So one day I was in my working place, I also saw him minister in the CV. I took up my phone, I called him, he said, I should come to church. So when I come to church, I now took assignment of financial restoration. So now I'm here to give time because God has restored my financial Mm. Life. Mm. God have not... restored my after I did the assignment. God have restored my financial life. Clap for Doctor Jesus. It doesn't take God a year to change your life. 
it takes God a second to change your life. I don't care how people are looking at you now. I don't care the shame you'll be facing. If I be a man of God, your situation must change. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Zochinere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb the OPM Dr. Jesus in action Dr. Jesus in action God is here I'm Mrs. Pat Efe from Delta State I stay at number 6 Odum Street, Elekaya We came to OPM God has been doing good things in our life mm. In OPM, God bless my husband with a good job In OPM, God bless my husband with a good job uh -huh. In OPM, yeah, we bought a land in OPM, they bought a land. And today, I'm here to dedicate the house to the glory of God. Not grammar. Not have faith. You can have faith. You can have faith. Seven kids on how to become multi-millionaires. No. It's anointing that breaks the yoke. Old people are buying land, building house, buying land, building house. <laughs> OPM, Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Yeah, my name is uh, Francis Oko. Uh, I located OPM through my wife in the course of uh, Fruit of the Womb. In fact, I've attended a church where they have to look at a category of men and ask you to pay a, a certain amount. Some people know me here. I was one oh, of those. They will say, wait, when you say they will look at your category, ask you to pay money. How? Yeah, uh, they look at, uh, they look at, you know, your level, maybe your financial uh, ability. And myself, I was tagged to pay 40,000 Naira in the course of Fruit of the Womb. You know, there are certain people that will say pay 60, depending on your post. For you to get Fruit of the Womb, you pay 40,000. Thief! 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 Look at them. Who called you? Say God called you. Why God called you? Where did God say you should collect money? Criminals. God will expose all of you. So, actually, I paid that money because when you, you are... You paid the money? Yeah. When you are desperate, uh -huh. when you, are desperate you can do anything. Because I had that money and then I decided to pay it. At the end of the day, there was no result. So, in the course of searching for where to go, that was when my wife located OPM and she asked me. I, I joined her immediately. So, in this OPM, we've dedicated our son here. Clap for that, Jesus! So, in, wait, in OPM, God bless you. But yeah, in, in OPM, yeah, God bless uh -huh. In OPM, yeah, God bless me with a song. Uh, and how much did you pay me? I think you paid me 40000 uh, Daddy, I didn't pay anything. <laughs> so, in this OPM, I dedicated my car. But in OPM, I dedicated my car, not 40000 I dedicated my car, I dedicated my boy, son. Uh -huh. Um, there are two major powerful testimonies that brought me here. Just recently, uh, I was putting up a, a building at home. There, there's this uh, strong uh, pharaoh in my village that doesn't want to see any upcoming guys. You know, this man will possess your land. He will know too well that this land does not belong to him. He will go there, possess it. Even he will sell the land and make case with you. So in Wonderful. My, yeah. He will come, possess your land, sell your land, and make us with you. Or me to be before. So in my own case, I said, wow, Dr. Jesus, may you help me. And because this thing in the village has been scaring me, you know, anytime I want to put up things, I'll be afraid what was going to happen. And at the end of the day, this house has almost all, all, roofing level. This man now came in and told me that... Uh, this land is his own. You know, those who sold this land for me were like, ah, what is this man talking about? 
Somebody, a lot of people know me here. Most guys know me, and they know that this man I'm talking about. So at a, at a time, this man came into this land, and wow, I, I decided, you know, based on advices from friends, we have to go to court. On the process of coming today, come tomorrow, come today, come tomorrow, for almost one year plus, this house was not, the case was still stagnant. So my brother, because of the nature of my work, I'm not always steady. I travel outside the state, uh, outside Port Harcourt and come, but because of the nature of my work, my elder brother was the one standing on my behalf. So at a certain stage, my brother told me that he can no longer continue with this uh, trouble that is disturbing him from his own kind of business, that we should settle out of court. Wow, I was highly bitter in my mind, and I asked my brother to call him. So I told my brother to do the negotiation and told me what is the outcome. Let me forge ahead with my life. Imagine, you want to go and negotiate with your enemy. Go and negotiate with him, settle him. I will never negotiate with you. We will fight to the end. So, my brethren, just two days after the negotiation, I sent in some money, you know, just to negotiate and let me move on with my life. So, as soon as, I, though my wife told me that before we send this money, that we should write the name of this man and drop it in this altar. Hey! You know, write his name, petition. So, what Continue. Uh -huh. So, you know, women, uh, I may say they are more faster than men in terms of spiritual things. I was like, why do we want to write his name? She uh -huh. said, no, that we must have to write his name and drop in this altar. So I said, okay. So we did it. As I sent the name, as I sent the money across, my wife came here and made some prayers. Just two days, the man received the money. My elder brother called me that this man is sick. -o. I say, what kind of sickness? I have paid this money, so I want to live my life. I don't need this problem. Just two weeks, uh, just a week, a week after I send that money, somebody here, I don't know if the guy is in the, in the church here, he's also my times guy. He called me that this man in question is dead. So, uh, in fact, if you for not send that money, you for put the this in. If you for not fight this case against this man, since can somebody in them to the court of God, Allah. If you have been taking other people's land, you can't near opium land. You can't near people that have tried to take opium land have a bad story. You don't try it. Anybody that will submit his name. Uh, uh -huh. Honestly, uh, Daddy, I've benefited so much in this OPM. You remember sometime last year, you did uh, this uh, writing, a uh, uh, shake, check uh, program we did here. Yes, I sometime. tell people to bring their checkbook uh -huh, and write. Uh, you know, a certain, in fact, late for me, I wouldn't, it, it wouldn't have been possible, but that, because I know God spoke on my behalf. Just that last year, I got a powerful alert that I never walked up. Mm. I never walked upon that money. Mm. I just got that alert. Mm. And it is present some money, you know. I have been working for, I work in a construction company where after the project, everybody goes. And I've never been appreciated for a while. So this last some morning, after like three months of our project at uh, Omok, you know, I was surprised that my management you know, I just received an alert. Uh, I said, what? What is this? I saw it from my past co company. So I, want, I didn't want to rush this money. I wanted to confirm if the company actually made a mistake of posting money into my account. Uh? So my wife, my, my wife was like, let's begin to utilize this money. I said, wait, <laughs> let me confirm from the company if actually it was a mistake or my. So when I went to the company, they said, Francis, uh, in fact, we just want to appreciate you for all the jobs you have done. After like five months of this project. So I just want to thank God. Praise the Lord. 
Give Jesus a clap of ring. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you in our being. Glory to God. <laughs> you just watch the testimonies of people. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. If you have not given your life to Christ, you are missing a lot. Kneel down wherever you are. You want to surrender your life to Christ? It's easy. It's simple. Just kneel down. Let me pray with you. you repeat this after me. Father Lord, I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. And I have done terrible things against you. Forgive me my sins. Remove my name from the book of death. And transfer it to the book of life. I promise. Starting from today, I will never go back to my old ways again. In Jesus' name. It's so simple. Just lay on your chest. Let me pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the Savior, well, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn it from their wicked ways, they will lie out from heaven and I forgive them. Say, heal the land. Heal the land for today today. Cleanse them. Wash them. Let them wet and snow. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It's, it's done. If you are sick or you need breakthrough, just lay hand on your te television screen. Let me pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by your anointing upon my life, I speak. Speak unto every affliction, every barrenness, every sickness. I cause right now to die in the name of Jesus. Leave this body, for this body is the temple of God in the name of Jesus. You, frustration, disappointment, uh, uh, poverty, right now, I command you in the name of Jesus to vacate this life now, to release the destiny now in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. So many things will begin to happen in your life. But I also, I'm also inviting you. To come and see me. It's very easy. You don't need to pay money to see me. You don't need to, there's no logistics. Just come to the church. You see the address on the screen, or you call me on my phone. I give an appointment. You come and you meet me. I'll give you an assignment. Once I give you that assignment, you do it very well. Your story must change in the name of Jesus. God loves you. Bye bye. Lord, I need you in my life. Lord, I need you in my life. Lord, I need you in my life today.